a generator or a power station. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys, Jason, KM4ACK. I got a recent WinLink message from N5WDX and he asked a fantastic question. In his email, he writes, been thinking about emergency power for a while, which is, I think, the next step for me. Your videos have been helpful. Well, thanks, I'm glad you found those helpful for you. At present, I have only a few small lithium iron phosphate batteries, which I use mostly for radios. To move up from there and begin thinking about the rest of the house, I can't decide if it would be smarter to buy a generator or one of the Opus units. For what it's worth, I'm on city water, so you don't have to worry about powering a well pump. Do you have an opinion on this? Well, Ron, as a matter of fact, I have lots of opinions. I'm not gonna say they're right, but I got lots of opinions. So let me tell you kind of my thought process when I started down this path and the way I started. We're going to cover kind of some of the pros and cons of both the generator and the Opus Mega One power station. And I've done a review of several different units uh, like the Opus One. This basically uh, covers all of them. So they're all kind of uh, very similar in the way that they work. I decided to go with a generator first. Now, I actually have two generators. I've got a larger gas power generator here at the house, but that's not necessarily the way I would start if I went back to do it again. What I have right behind me is a Champion 2500 watt dual fuel generator. And this is my favorite generator to use. I like it because it's dual fuel, which means I can run it on propane. And to me, that's a huge advantage. Now, I will say there is a caveat when you're running on propane, you will not get the full 2,500 watts out of it. You'll probably get somewhere between 19 and 2,100 watts when running on propane. So definitely check the specs on that because it does get lower if you use propane. And if you've got a tri-fuel unit that also uses natural gas, that drops your output down even a little bit lower. But the reason I like propane with this unit is it burns cleaner and I never have to worry about the carburetor clogging on it. With gas, if you leave uh, that gas sitting in the carburetor too long, it can break down and gum up things inside the carburetor of this unit and then make it either difficult or impossible to get it started unless you go in and clean that carburetor out. With propane, you never have to worry about that issue. The other reason I grabbed this one uh, in particular is I was planning to use this with the RV, and that has worked out to be a fantastic decision. With uh, this unit powering the RV, including the air conditioning unit, I can get about 12 hours runtime from this and a 20 pound propane tank. And since I've always got propane on board with the RV already, that made this a perfect fit. This will easily power a refrigerator and a deep freeze if we face a power outage. So, and those for me are the two primary concerns that I'm worried about running when we lose power. Everything else, I can make it work somehow or another, but it's not critical if it doesn't function. I don't want to lose the food in the fridge, so it's critical that I've got something like this generator to be able to power those uh, refrigerators and deep freezes in the event of a power outage. Oh, another advantage of propane is you can store it for long periods of time and propane is not going to go bad. Gas, on the other hand, if you store it for more than a year, maybe a year and a half, you're gonna have to worry about that gas going bad. So just another advantage to running a unit like this on propane. Now, if you're on a well and need to power a well pump on a power outage, this is still a great solution. If you purchase two of these, they have a parallel kit that you can put between them and get, I believe it's 50 amp service out of these two units. Now, that does double the cost of this, but that does allow you to power that well pump and I like the fact that you've got two different generators because if you lose one of them, one of them goes down, you've still got a backup generator. So to me, that's a big plus. The biggest advantage though to the generator is as long as you've got fuel, you can keep it running. You don't have to worry about how you're going to recharge that generator. Put some gas in it or hook it up to a propane bottle and you are ready to go. 
Now, let's talk about something like this Opus Power Station. I really, really like the Mega One. Uh, when I did my testing on it initially, I hooked it up to my kitchen refrigerator and it ran that refrigerator for seven solid hours. Uh, and the battery got down to, I believe it was about 10 or 12%. The other nice thing about these is when you pair this with, say, a 200 watt solar panel, you can recharge this in probably roughly about six hours uh, on a good day of sun. However, if you have a day like we have here today, well, that uh, is where these start to show their weakness. When I hooked up my 200 watt solar panel to this guy earlier today under these full cloud conditions, I was getting 20 watts or less out of that panel back into this Mega One unit. So there is no way I could get that thing recharged even if I left that panel in the, uh, in the sun, in the clouds all day long. It's just not going to give me enough juice to recharge this unit that takes just over a thousand watt hours to recharge. So that's where you really start to see a weakness when you're talking about the Mega One. Now, the ideal solution is to have both. And that's kind of the path that I'm moving down at this point. I love these because I can set this in the house, let it power a refrigerator, and it's silent. I mean, almost completely silent. Then, when it is depleted, I can fire up the generator, and in about an hour, I can have this unit fully recharged. And to me, that's a huge plus because now we can run that refrigerator for seven hours and it only cost us one hour of fuel from the uh, generator to get this completely powered back up and ready to go again for another seven hours. So imagine uh, you're in a prolonged power outage situation. You can set this up to run overnight, keep that refrigerator cold, when you get up the next morning, hook it up to the generator for an hour and you're right back topped off and ready to go again for another seven hours. So my final verdict on this topic is if I only had the money to start with one, I would definitely go with a dual fuel generator. Then as your budget allows, consider picking up something like the Mega One and the solar panel and that will give you the best of both worlds. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.